to another episode of Kendra's Corner. I just got back from the market to pick up some little uh, vegetables, pre and fresh soup, so I wanted some nice fresh vegetables, fresh vegetables, so I went to the market to pick up some. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do a video. I just want to sit back and drink a nice bowl of chicken soup. Yeah. But I am also going to do a cassava leaf uh, prep video because um, next Saturday, not today, next Saturday, I would like to make a authentic African cassava leaf stew. All right. So to get the ingredients for that, you know, I would have to go around shopping because some of the types of thing that they put in that recipe i would have to leave my community to venture out into other neighboring communities to see if i could get it if not i would just alter the recipe but i would do my best to get the ingredients that is required to make this authentic african cassava leaf stew so today's video is just to show you how i am going to prep the leaves to make that stew so i'm going to go out into the other part of my garden where i have my papayas and i have calabash and i have cassava growing and we're going to pick some leaves and we're going to prep it together so come along with me once again into my garden another section of the garden let's go and pick the cassava leaves to prep to make our traditional, authentic African <laughs> cassava leaf stew. Let's get cracking. All right, so now let's get on into a different part of the garden and here I also have some more plantains and my calabash tree, I have some um, papayas and now we're going for the cassava so we're going to get some cassava leaves and get back inside and wash them now I can't say best you use this leaf from that leaf because I have tried it with all of the leaves young leaves they all cook lovely so um yeah <laughs> So I just want to show you that my papaya has flowers and I have some coming in there. I have about two coming in there. I didn't even know that it had on it. Mm -mm -mm. Awesome. So now let's get back inside and we are going to remove the leaves and we're going to give them a good chop. But firstly, I am going to wash them. And I'm washing them with some baking soda and some lime. You're going to give that a good, good wash. And I'm going to let that soak for 10 minutes in that baking soda water. So I place one teaspoon of baking soda into the water. And I'm just going to let that sit with the baking soda and lime water there for an hour. And then I am going to show you how i am going to cut them up so once i remove it from the water i am going to let it drain out any excess water in the strainer and once that is done we're going to start chopping them in smaller pieces now if you want to dry them you can just put them just like this before cutting them up and just place them to dry and you could you know use them as a powder so i am not doing that i am actually going to cut them up into smaller pieces to cook so it will break down faster all right so i have a few ways that i would do it there's not one particular way so i would just hold them by the bottom piece and just cut them up in small pieces like that And 
once it's chopped, I'm just going to discard that bottom piece, all right? Now, you can not use a knife, it is not mandatory, but this is a really tough leaf, so you can break it apart like this. That's also an option, right? Nothing wrong with not using a knife, you can use your hand. You know, once you have that time on your hand, and as I said, you discard that piece. Right, so now, the other way that I would do it once I do it this way, you can see how tough this leaf is, right? So right, once I decide, well, okay, I don't like tearing it apart. So this is what I would do. Another way, chop again. It's giving a little trouble. So I take the knife, and cut off that. That's easier. And you just cut and go. You know? Boom. Bam. And there you have it. So that way is the easiest for me. All right. So I'm going to continue doing all of them. And when I'm done, I shall be back with the ending. Now I'm finished chopping them all. I didn't want them too, too small, but I don't want them big. You know, so I, could, I give them a reasonable chopping. And I'm going to freeze this. And next week, Saturday, I am going to make my stew. Now, actually, the name of it isn't a stew. However, it's called a soup. But we in the Caribbean won't call this a soup. We'll call this a stew. But to stick with the original recipe, we're going to call it a soup like it is originally named. Plus, Saturday to all of you. It's a week later and I did make this soup and it came out amazing. Thanks for watching and do stay tuned for when I share that cassava leaf soup recipe.